I'm about to try to update this Happy Model Express LRS module to Express LRS 3.0, and spoiler alert, it's not going to work. So we will go into the Express LRS Lua script, we'll go down to Wi Fi connectivity, and we will enable Wi Fi on the module. I prefer to update my Express LRS receivers and modules over Wi Fi. I find that it has fewer things that can go wrong than the other methods. Next, we'll go into Express LRS Configurator. We'll select version 300. Yes, version 300 is out, and I've got a link to my 300 overview down in the video description if you want to know all the reasons why you might want to switch. But hang on. Happy model, 2.4 gigahertz device. This is the Pro Series 2400TX. That's the end. I am going to uh, just build it. And once it's built, we'll just drag that over to the desktop so it's easily accessible. And we will go to the Wi-Fi page for, uh, for my module. And if you're wondering how I got my module to connect to my home Wi-Fi network and show up in the configurator down at the bottom, that is in my full Express LRS setup guide, which is also linked down in the video description below. We'll go down here and we will choose the file to update. We will... Update, and it looks like everything's going fine, but there's going to be a kink, a hitch, a goof up, a screw up, an error message. It ain't going to work. Force update, bad size given. As usual, the explanation and the solution for this problem are in the Express LRS wiki. And as usual, you didn't read the wiki. You came to my channel to get the solution. And I'm not being snarky about that. I'm thrilled. I would much rather read you the wiki and have you listen to me tell you about it than have you solve it for yourself. Have we mentioned that I have a Patreon? <laughs> um, what we need to do is we need to fix the partitioning of the Express LRS module. The way that Express LRS manages its partition is different in 3.0 versus 2.0, and it means that the file size gets messed up and you can't flash it. The fix is to download this file, repartitioner.bin. So we're going to go ahead and download that file, repartitioner.bin. We're going to go back here into the Express LRS module Wi-Fi page, we're going to choose that file, repartitioner.bin, and we're going to flash that file. When that's done, it's going to say targets mismatch, and that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and flash it anyway. The unit will reboot a few times, and then we should be able to go back into the Wi-Fi page and reflash it normally. Here we go. Is it good? Is Are we happy? Enable Wi-Fi. Okay. Wi-Fi running. Has it lost my home Wi-Fi network information? Or is it going to show up here? There we go. Now it has showed up on my home Wi-Fi network. We can go back into this page. We'll reload that page and see if it's still alive. Yes, it is. And we will choose our 3.0 file, which should now successfully flash. Update. While we're updating, if you're curious, I'll tell you the reason why this problem happened. In ExpressLRS 2.0, there was a separate target that had to be compiled for every single module and receiver that exists. Uh, and that means that managing firmware is a real hassle, especially if you have a, a lot of different, well, most people won't have a lot of different modules. They'll probably only have one, but you might have a lot of different receivers, some from Happy Models, some from Radio Master, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In ExpressLS 3.0, they moved to a unified model where all of the targets that use the same chip, like the EP chip, like the EP2 chip or whatever, um, all of the targets that use the same chip are going to have the same target, and you won't have to recompile the firmware for every freaking one of them. That's going to make life a lot simpler, since you'll just have one firmware that you flash to all your receivers, pretty much. But it does mean that the firmware got a little bit bigger, and that's why they had to shuffle the partitions around. Update complete. Wait for a few seconds while the device reboots. We should be good. 300, baby! We got 300, it worked. If you ran into this problem and this video helped you, can I take a second to remind you that I have a Patreon? Patreon is a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it. The amount that you subscribe at is totally up to you. Every month, a little bit of money comes out of your pocket, goes into my wallet, and helps make sure that I can continue to pay the bills and don't have to stress about whether YouTube is going to screw me over with the ad revenue this month. Patreon is the 
single best way that you can support me. If you value the content that I make, if I helped you solve a problem, if I entertain you, or just give you something to watch over the morning coffee every morning, consider joining up. If today's the day that I earned it, there's a link down below. And if I haven't earned it yet, I'm going to keep making the content. You keep watching the content and maybe that day will come. Happy flying.